Welcome to what's new at AWS. Now Amazon DynamoDB supports incremental export to Amazon S3. You can export DynamoDB table data that's changed within a specific time period. Have a look at this video to see this feature in action. For the purpose of this demo, I have created one table in advance, test incremental export. Let's click it. This DynamoDB table contains partition key PK and one attribute called comment. So we are going to use this comment section to write our comments based on the operation we are doing so that later we can recognize what we did with that particular item. Let's click view table details, go to backups. Make sure point in time recovery is enabled and also note this earliest restore point which we will use later. Click explore table items. Now we will try few operations before we initiate the export. First we will insert one item, update one item, let's say the first one, so insert one, update one. Let's delete this second item. Then we will make multiple update for this particular item. Finally, we will insert one item and delete it. Insert 5 to be deleted. Let's delete it. So initially we had three item 1, 2, 3 and first item we have updated second item we have deleted third item we have updated three times fourth item is just one insert and the fifth item we inserted then we deleted now we will see how all these are presented in that incremental export let's go back to table details click export and streams click export to s3 Select your destination S3 bucket. I have already created DynamoDB incremental S3 export as destination bucket. Select that bucket. Scroll down in export settings section. You will see this new option incremental export. Let's click it. In export period, basically we need to provide the start and end date of this incremental export. Let's click relative mode. Let's click last 24 hours. Apply. Export period start must be after earliest export point and before current time in our case earliest export point is october 30th 6 18 pm also export period must be between 15 minutes and 24 hours and obviously export time period has to be within your point in time recovery or pitr window let's select the range last one hour click apply under additional settings keep everything as default click export and we can see status is exporting it will take few minutes export is completed let's go back to s3 bucket click aws dynamodb here we can see two folder so let's click this one i'll download manifest files.json manifest summary json and inside data folder i'll download all three files and we'll see what is there inside so i have downloaded all three files then unzipped this data file and open all three files in editor so let's format it let's start with manifest summary manifest summary contains all the details about your request like dynamodb table name start time end time uh, export period and bucket name item count etc manifest files contains the reference of the data file s3 key which is this one so let's open the data file for this item 3 we can see old image it is insert 3 initial record was insert 3 and then in the new image we can see insert 3 multi update 3 so this is the item we have updated multiple times but here we are not seeing any other reference so that means export contains only the final state of the item from that export period let's move to that second item 
in the old image we can see insert number two but there is no new image so this is the item basically we deleted let's move to the next item here we can see the new image there is no old image so this is the item we have inserted before export next one is insert one old image and new image insert one update one so this is the item that we updated once but you remember we have inserted one item then we deleted the item uh, immediately so there is no reference of that item so this again proves that export contains only the final state of the item from that particular export period so in summary point in time recovery or pitr has to be enabled export period must be between 15 minutes and 24 hours export period start must be after earliest export point and before the current time and obviously export time period has to be within pitr window and finally no matter what we do with the items within the time frame export contains only the final state of the item aws is rapidly growing and evolving subscribe to stay updated with aws changes thanks for watching enjoy your time on the cloud